this one is for the people who follow their religion, whatever it may be, as much as they can. Let's say you're a Muslim or a Jew, or if you're a Christian, I don't know, let's say there's a homosexual involved somehow. If you're a Christian, if you're, if you're a Muslim or a Jew, a pig or something, or, heck, with all three, let's just say it's a homosexual. What if a homosexual, for example, was in the way of you saving a child? Would you still, you know, let's say, I don't know, let's say you had to do something that basically your religion is the main reason you don't want to do. But, you know, you could save this child. Would you still not do it? I mean, how far will you go to just follow your religion rather than do what you feel is the best course of action. I'm, I mean, I'm talking about when what you feel is the best course of action and what your religion preaches to you is the best course of action. When the two differ greatly, when they are incompatible. How far will you go? Is God really more interested in blind obedience, at, at what cost? At what cost is he more interested in blind obedience than people doing what they feel is right? What many can agree would be, you know, a good course of action, you know, good as being opposed to evil. I'd also like to confront the whole idea of collective punishment. As I understand, this was mostly in the Old Testament, you know, before the New Testament. Before the New Testament, as I understand, there was no such thing as really individual, there was very little individual punishment. If, if a couple of people did something wrong, then the entire populace could suffer. So you had to kill those couple of people, or, I don't know, make them not do it, but I guess the killing is the more, correct me if I'm wrong here, but that's the impression I have. It's been a while since I read, you know, the Bible, so. Collective punishment is basically a way to make sure that you don't think, well, it's just a couple of people and they're not really hurting anyone. Because if you believe that you will be punished for something someone else is doing, you're more inclined to stop it, to stop them from doing it. Even if you don't personally really mind, you're being driven by fear. You know, someone is holding a gun to your head, metaphorically speaking, and telling you, if you don't stop that other person from what they're doing, I will punish you too. Which is a really idiotic idea. It's back from, you know, long before we realized that, you know, long before the ideas of individuality, at least, were seen as pos positive. So, yeah, that's it for this one.